I'm Ina, I'm an artist, and I'm here to talk about art goals. Now, it's middle of February, and I'm setting my art goals now, which should tell you everything you need to know about me. Also, I will be painting a beetroot because, well, there is an empty frame in my kitchen, and I plan to do this for a year. It seems like it's time. Now, let's not beat around the bush and uh, get on with it. I'll, I'll, I'll see myself out. Let's get the frame. Before we start talking about goals, just really quickly, these are the materials I'll be using to paint the beat and I'll put them down in the description box um, as usual. I have pre-sketched the beat, it's here, if you can't see it, don't worry, you'll see plenty of it in this video um, and uh, let's again pretend that I don't use my trousers. Okay, let's go! So, art goals. This is my second year of being serious about art at a potential career level. Last year was exploratory and I did set some goals a year and a month ago. And I'm happy to report that I did manage to achieve most of them. Great success! Before setting this year's goals, I watched a video about goal setting just because I need extra help with any kind of planning. And I will link the video in the description. Now the artist there was talking about goals versus outcomes and how two are different. And you know what? It's common sense and it's so obvious now that it's spelled out to me, but I didn't know. And if you're anything like me and a scratch in your head, well, goals are entirely within our control and outcomes are not. Who knew? For example, if I say I want to reach 1000 YouTube subscribers this year, which I do, so please subscribe if you haven't already. Smooth. Smooth. Well, that is not a goal because I cannot control whether you will subscribe or not. That is an outcome. The goal would be to film and release 30 videos this year, which might lead to an outcome of 1,000 subscribers, but I did the math and um, it is unlikely. A more realistic outcome would be 500 subscribers, but let's dream big. Well, that brings us to the first goal from last year, which was to start a YouTube channel. Check. Produce and upload one video each month, which is 12 videos. In fact, I did 23 plus shorts, but I don't, I'm not counting those. And uh, that's why this year my goal is 30 full videos, of which this is second. And as mentioned before, the outcome I'm hoping for is that sweet, sweet 1000 subs, because dream big or go home. I mean, I am home, but you get it. Second goal is to submit a painting to the Archbold exhibition, which is the largest Australian portrait painting competition. And I submitted last year, and also planning to submit this year and every single year thereafter for so long as I am painting portraits, which is probably till I die. Now the outcome I want this year is same as last year to be chosen into the final, which is usually about 50 to 60 works that get chosen to be displayed at the Art Gallery of New South Wales and then tour the country. I am yet to achieve that and uh, all I have the control over is producing a painting and submitting it, so that's, that's my goal. Goal number three was to participate in two other exhibitions, which I achieved, and this year I'm up in it to three. I was displayed at both of these other exhibitions and, as a bonus, won the Judge's Choice Award at one of them with my failed Archbold submission, nonetheless. Now, an additional outcome this year that I would like to achieve is to sell an original painting for an exhibition. I did sell an original painting last year, but it wasn't for an exhibition, so that'd be nice. Next goal was to create a painting I could convert into a print and create prints. I painted five, uh, but I never actually sorted out the prints. Uh, I did do a test, uh, I did do a lot of research, but just never went full shop. So I guess this year I'd like to paint further six and actually, you know, uh, create them for sale. Um, so that would be, that would be another one. As an additional bonus goal here, I would like to create a card series and make them available for sale through a local art store. 
Uh, maybe this beet will be one of them. Who knows? I have um, also created one more punny vegetable. I guess uh, pun fried vegetables. Get some help. Alrighty then, back to the goals, I guess. Uh, last year, I had a goal of one commission. I actually did four, but I also realize now that this is not a goal. It's an outcome. The goal would be me organizing an official custom portrait offering for Etsy and or my own website, which is still in draft, by the way. So my penultimate goal is to finalize it and make it live. I don't know how many times I say goal in this video, but I bet if you were playing a drinking game, you'd be pretty drunk by now. She's so drunk. <laughs> and so my last goal is to begin work on a solo exhibition. I will be pretty happy this year if I develop my concept and undertake all the research, plan all the paintings and start the painting process. Because let's face it, that is a lot of goals I have set myself, and I will have to wait to the end of the year to see how I got on with all of this. Now, my next step would be planning the year around all of these goals, which is not something I have done before. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on that. Now, do you set goals each year? Do you tend to achieve them? Do you plan your year around the goals or wing it like I did last year? Let me know. Now the beat is nearly done and I have to say, um, don't drink a gallon of coffee and then paint a tiny dainty picture because my hand was shaking all the way through this and guess what I'm drinking right now? It is more coffee because I know what's good for me. Let me know what you think of the beat because I'm kind of proud of this one. I have been giggling pretty much all the way through painting it. Um, I am easily entertained, um, as you will gather if you stick around. And I think it's time to um, frame this and um, put it up. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!